Well, hello there, Dukely here. Today I'm playing Airships Conquer the Skies. This is a pretty cool game I found on Steam that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, we're going to go to Conquest and make a new game, because that's how it works. Okay. We're not going to be called Dagger Guild. We're going to be called Dukington, the great empire <coughs> of Dukington. And we're going to play on a large... Well, I'll do a medium map just for the sake of the video. And um, easy is fine, since I'm still learning. And we'll start game. So, what is this game? Good question. Um, first of all, it's on Steam for $10. Definitely worth your $10. You build ships, airships, land ships, um, and like defensive structures, and attempt to conquer a map using ships that you've built. Oh, I forgot to turn off the uh, tutorial. I do know what I'm doing, so thank you very much, tutorial. Um, I may have to adjust the music and sound as we go. I'm not sure yet. Anyway, here's where we start up here um, in our capital of Dukington. We start with the Erebus, um, which is an alright starting ship. It's not great. It's, uh, yeah, it's not great. So we're going to start the game here, just to get it going. Up here you can see our heraldry. Our empire details are here. At the moment it just tells you your maintenance costs, and how much you're spending on secret police. We're spending not very much on secret police because it is very expensive, so... There you go. Not very much being spent. <clears throat> so we want to conquer all these other regions on the map um, to win the game. And other regions have, like, bonuses to them. So what we can do is send our spy... Whoops. So we're going to send our spy to these places. Black Spire and Sach Sachulina to have a look around for us. And uh, you can just see they just got taken over there. Um, so this place has a medium shipyard uh, and a bonus. Um, it gives you parts, heavy wooden computer. And this place gives you a computer, heavy wooden computer, heavy wooden armor. And this place gives you computers, um, which are both very good bonuses for building ships. Um, so let's see, I'll show you how you design a ship. So first, you come in and here's your menu. This tells you your stats of your ship up here in the corner. And down here is... You know, how you make it, all the bits you need. So you need coal, obviously. Uh, you need some ammo storage. We're just going to build a little ship here. Um, you probably want to build a fire port, because ships catch fire in this quite frequently. Um, some quarters for your crew. We'll put that there. A suspendium chamber. This is like how your ship is, you know, gets lift, basically. Um, we're going to get a bridge, so we can actually fly the ship. Uh, and a sick bay, in case people get too too badly injured. Uh, there's all kinds of different things. You can get a cockpit that let, lets you continue to fly the ship even if it's been um, your bridge has been damaged or taken. So you've got a large suspendium chamber, which gives you this big like smokestack and looks really cool. You can get big you know balloons. There's kind of this thing that's basically like a nuclear reactor sort of thing. <laughs> there's all kinds of cool little things, and you can unlock more stuff. Uh, as you continue playing. So we'll build an engine pod. That looks kind of cool. I haven't really tried the engine pods. You can get sails. Um, all these different things to power your ship with. Let's see. Uh, you can get a machine shop. A repair bay, which will obviously allow you to do repairs. Oh look, it's Apollo. Hello. Apollo. We'll be with you in a moment. We're making a ship at, the, at the, this particular moment in time. Um, and a supply hatch, you need these for, um, you know, so that your ship can get places. Um, or, well, be supplied and people can get in and out of the ship. It's basically a fancy way of saying door. Um, I don't know why it just doesn't say door. Um, a berth. We need to get some of these. There we go. Now, or a corridor would have worked there too, but I like putting berths because it gives you additional sailors. So they just had to be connected. So we had a red level like that because there was no way for them to get to it. But there, yeah, we fixed it. <clears throat> so yeah, we got all those things. We've got structural, you can get keels, fire decks, there's all kinds of things. Troops, so you can build boarding parties um, and board other ships. Marine barracks. And finally, weapons, which is what we want to look at next. And we're going to get some, some nice cannons, I think. We'll get uh, a cannon there. And maybe, 
Maybe we'll get a rifle here. And there, maybe? No, we can't really put anything there, so we won't put that there. And we'll get a ventral turret on the bottom, how about that? Does not fit. Okay, but we won't get that then. <laughs> we could get a deck gun, like that. That looks pretty cool. We'll go with a deck gun. Um, and I think we can get... We'll get a grenade. A grenade guy, just there. And we'll put, uh... Oh, a corridor there. So there we go. A very basic ship. Um, we do need to put a deck on the top. So that they can reach the deck gun. There we go. So this will tell you what we're missing. The ship has no marines. I don't know why that would matter. We don't really need any marines. Um, the ship's modules are not all mutually accessible. Oh. We need to put... Uh... Where's that berth? We'll make it a corridor instead. There we are. Um, our ship needs more supply hatches, apparently. Ship has no marines. I don't know why... I guess they're mandatory now? I don't re remember them being mandatory. Maybe it's just telling me there's no marines for for some reason. Um, I mean, we could add a guard barracks. Just like that. There we go. It seems to have accepted that. Um, so now we can go to paint. And you can see the outside. Here's what our ship looks like on the outside. We can paint it. <clears throat> our um, faction colors, obviously. Which is my faction's colors are green and yellow. So we'll give it a green with a yellow stripe. We can decorate it, we can give it a mouth, brar, and an eye, we can give it a coat of arms as well, stick our coat of arms on there. We can also give it a name, because each ship can have its own name, so that will let us name it when we go to build it. We can decorate it all fancy with like this kind of stuff. There you go. Put one back there just for fun. So, now we will save the design, and uh, the squalid, we'll call it the squalid, sure. And now, we'll say build. And a cool thing about this is if we say, uh, want to have an abbreviation, like, Dukely, Dukington Empire, um, you know, vessel, DEV, if you will. So we can say DEV, and we'll call it the DEV. D-E-V, um, Sinful is the first one there, so we'll just call it that. And now, if we go to build another ship, it will automatically use the abbreviation D-E-V for us, which is pretty cool. So you can see it's being built, and it'll be... Okay, there, now it's done. So now if we click here and say Build Ship, we can pick another one. We'll build another Squalid. Um, and you can see it's used the DEV automatically for us, and we'll call this one the Stout. So that's the super basics of how the game works. <clears throat> and, um, oh, they've just left. Now we could go and attack this guy while well, he's not paying attention, which I think is what we will do. So now I'm going to click here, and I'm going to say... Well, first I'm going to click all my ships, so that we can see our ships here on the side. We're going to invade. Now, if we view the city, we can see that they have two defensive towers, and that's it. Um, so, we'll speed up time. Our ships will fly over, and they arrive at Black Spire. And let's see. Oh, our ships do not have a very high service ceiling, the ones we just made. But that's okay. This guy's going to have some trouble getting past this tree. Well, that shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so we'll start. We'll move this guy just there. Move him off. See if he can get past the tree, maybe. Come on, you can get past the tree. Go for it. Nah, not quite. So there we go. You can see uh, we're shooting at that. This tower has already been disarmed, I think. 
So no target available. That's fine. Um. The, uh... Oh, that one's exploded. So this... This one here, but that's the square shape. This is where you would board. Um, so if we can try... We can try and board them here. Let's see. Oh. There's a bit of a fire there. Small fire. Yep. Oh, wow, well, they've just exploded. Hooray! We win. Um, so there we go. We've taken it. We've taken over the air area. So now we can do a takeover. So the gentle takeover will be slow. Uh, we won't be able to do anything in the city until we've taken it over. Um, and a gentle one goes the slowest, but it leaves it mostly intact. And a brutal, as you can imagine, is not as good. And a pillaging is basically like you just take all the money out and it takes forever to repair. So I go with the brutal, um, as it allows you to repair your ships quickly. So now if we click here, we can see none of our ships actually took... Uh, a large amount of damage, so that's fine. If they take a damage, we can repair them here. You can only repair one ship at a time as well. So we're going to send a spy over here to, to Bardoom. Bard, Bardoom. And have him take a look around. See what's there. Let's see. They're building a ship. And they have two defensive structures. So, we will quickly invade with our, our fleet. Ah, uh, they do have a ship defending there now. That's okay. The Adventure. Huh. Okay. Uh, oof. This is gonna be difficult. Okay, we'll start... Let me just turn the sound out a little bit. I was afraid it was too loud in the last one, so I just wanted to turn it down a touch. Oh! Oh! Oh man, we got a big fire already. Oh, that's all right. It's all right. Let's can we move him down here. Lay waste to the adventure men. Oh yeah, we've. They haven't got much in the way of armor. We didn't actually armor our ships at all either. Now that I think about it, completely forgot about armoring. Oh, it's getting loud. Okay. Those guys' engines are in bad shape. Hopefully someone can get down there to repair it, though. Don't flip it. Now their engines are knocked out, too. Oh, boy. We're gonna send this guy right up. Right up to the front door. You can click this button, too, to see what they look like from the outside. This guy's had his nameplate knocked off. Guess I can't go back after that. So these two ships are. Have your engine's been repaired? Now, so our engines being on the bottom like that are a little bit vulnerable. Uh, so they've been knocked out. They're still firing, though. This guy has been... I think the X means surrendered, but I'm not sure. Uh, can you... You alright? Can you go forward? No. Something's exploding loudly. Oh, that tower's exploded. Okay. So we're just gonna, uh... Fast forward. And there we go. We've won. So, um, we definitely have some design flaws with our with our ship, we can tell. The service ceiling is quite low, um, <clears throat> and the engines are very exposed. So, that, uh, that's something we might want to address in a newer model. Um, yeah. So maybe we should, let's build a new ship, how about that? Uh, we've got, this is a huge shipyard, so let's design a ship here. 